the sneak is back. Another one today. This is Deepin 15.5. Yeah, Deepin. Very nice polished desktop, I must admit. I've not actually used it on a full-time basis ever. I thought now was the time to have a little butchers at it, basically. As you can see, the desktop is really, really bright, nice, beautiful backgrounds. But you'll want to know more than that, won't you, really? So, it's a customised desktop, and it is very, very customisable, okay? So this video could go on for 30 minutes, but I'm going to cut it short to at least 10, I think. Because you'll want to go and try it yourself. Now, the system requirements can be quite high. As high as you want them to be. But what I've done here, I've turned off the desktop effects, okay? And I'll show you that in a minute. So if I click here on the desktop, just right-click, and we're just going to go to Display Settings, okay? And there we are. You can scale your display, okay? My resolution here is 1920 by 1080. The brightness is on full, okay? Then down below that we have default applications. I won't open that up for you. You can do that yourself. If we go to personalizations and we go to themes, okay? We can change all these themes, even, okay? So this is a deep in default, okay? That's quite nice. But let's say you want something else. So we've got Maria, Papyrus, C. Okay, and I think there's loads more you can download as well. And you also get cursor themes. I know. Loads and loads and loads. So the defaults are quite okay for me. I'm not being funny. It's, it's okay. I like it. Or should we change? Should we try C? Ooh, that's a bit C, isn't it? Mm, okay. Nice. So we've changed our theme. Looks all right. Lovely. We scroll it down a bit more. We get more information about your wired network card because I'm wired. Okay, so it's wired. That's work on wireless. No problem at all. And lots and lots of information in here for you. There's your sound section. So you've got lots and lots and lots for you to do, see, and play around with. It is really, really, really configurable, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So I mean, I'm, I'm scrolling down. There's loads and loads and loads of options. I'll see if it needs an update. Let's have a look. <laughs> Check for updates. See what it does. I'll have a bit of drinking while we're waiting. That's a bit of orange juice, okay? Mmm. Orangey. Okay, my system is up to date, so that's cool. When I tried to download this last night, um, it hadn't synced with all the other servers. So the download was really, really, really slow, or it failed halfway through. So I waited until this morning, and it was all synced up, and it was all hunkily of the dory. Okay. So, tells you all about your system here, edition license, and the boot menu. Go back up there. All about there. Here we go. So the account sections here, displays here. It's just the same as we just went through, but not so detailed. But what about if we go here? Okay. There's a little weather app for you, already installed, okay? And knows where I live. Creepy BB. Let's tell you what I've done here. I've tried the home screen recorder, works fine. I installed Snaptic because I needed some certain applications that I couldn't find in their software manager, so to speak, okay? But just sorted it all out, no problem. Now you do get corners as well here, but having turned off the display effects it doesn't always work, okay? Now some of you are saying, oh, hang on, Sneaky, it's from China. And they might get all your information. Well, let's be honest, most of you use Google. Most of you use, you might even use Microsoft products, Apple products. They all collect your data in some way or another, okay? At the end of the day. It's up to you if you want to give it a go. But if you're only using your computer for general stuff, no big deal. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Here, in my little thing here, where all my apps are, what should I call it? I don't know, we'll call it a day launcher. So Google Chrome is here. They're using WPS Writer, which is, is that the Kingfisher stuff? So let's open it up and have a look. Here's the Writer thing. Is it, is it WPS Office? That's right. I think I've got one of my phones, actually. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Don't get me wrong. But if you don't like it, just go and get LibreOffice, I think. Entirely up to you. Go back to my launcher. I can make it big, so I guess make it big. Okay. Big. Google Chrome is your default browser. You can get Firefox, if you so wish. Comes default with Skype, you get deep install. Spotify is as default, okay? You get it as you get it. But bearing in mind, it's a 3.2 gigabyte download. This is why it comes with lots of stuff. Steam is installed by default, okay? It's plenty by default. You get Foxit Reader, I haven't seen that for ages. I thought that was a Windows program, but maybe they're used to say it. And I, well, I'll come on to Sankels in a minute about that. A text editor, Chunderbird Mail, Terminal, Screen Recorder, I've already said about it. And a voice recorder. There's lots and lots of stuff in here. Deep in cloud scan. Scan to the cloud. I know. A boot maker. The list goes on and on and on. But there's a few bits of stuff I want to show you. Hang on a minute. Now, bear in mind I'm running the box, so it's going to use some of my stuff, okay? Oh, it's not really. It's not using nothing at all. Oh, fair enough. What more can you say? Okay. I thought it was going to use more memory than that, but hmm. 
It's still quite a large amount of memory, but I wouldn't really worry about it too much, to be honest with you. No. Okay. Back to our launcher. We'll make a small look again, something like that. Okay, simple scan is by default, as I said before. We come past the settings, font viewer, archive manager, driver manager, and crossover. Now, this is what I wanted to get in and show you, really. Simply for the reason I thought it was paid software. Okay, now I've got over here to the license. Okay. Doesn't really okay, say anything. Okay, but, but. I mean, the source code is free software, it says. So maybe it's been reverse engineered. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe they've got a special license. Who knows? I don't know. So basically, say we wanted to install Windows software. So you click here. And you wait. And you wait. What happens? Aha. Select an application to install. Oh, blimey. Okay. It's easy as that. Crossover is one of the easiest ways to get stuff in Wine working. So it does use Wine at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, I know. That'd be interesting to use a bit later on. Yeah, that was really a weird one, really. Okay, on our main bar down here, show desktop, multitasking view, the file managers. I don't know file manager. So it looks like. Yeah, looks nice and clean to me. I like it actually. It's really, considering it's in the box, it's quite sprightly. Yes, with the desktop effects on, it lags a bit. Okay, it lags. But I didn't want to spend time putting it on a hard drive because I'm playing around with Savion at the moment. Still, yeah, I know. Still, still doing it, baby. Okay, what's that there? Oh, the control center was just what we had before, so there's no difference. So we can close that. I've set my uh, system tray with GB in it, okay? So Great Britain for the keypad and keyboard and stuff like that. My connection, power on and off, my volume, time and date, and what's that on the end there? Is the trash file, okay? But on the whole, it's, it's really nice actually. And I can't knock it, can I? Not really. Print settings, but what's deep in clone? Let's have a look. So it needs my password for that. I mean, you could make this a really, really long video. Oh, fair enough. Part of, ooh, I like that, yes. So it can clone your disk completely, just in case. So if you've got a spare drive on a clone, pop it over, if this one goes bang, you're done. Okay. Interesting. I'm liking it. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got here that's interesting? Well, loads are interesting. Be really, hmm. Let's go up here a bit further. What else have we got here? Deep in store. Okay. Which is basically... An app store at the end of the day, but it's slightly different the way it's turned out. Okay, so if we go down here, you've got your sections. But okay, do we want Firefox? Well, let's give it a go. Install, and basically off you go. Hmm. And that's what I will say. The server's a bit slow on here, but maybe that's only because it's only just been released and lots of people are using it, or it's coming from a really long way away and it's a bit slow. Okay, so we're still installing. I'll have another bit of a drinkage while we're waiting. Oh, lovely it, Richie. It does take a little time when installing stuff. That's all I will say. But on the whole, I suppose when you've got it on a real hardware, it will run super on the phone. You see what I mean about installing? I probably could have gone to... Um, we'll open it from there. To the Synaptic and got it to do a lot quicker at the end of the day. And now we'll close it down. Okay, let that fall. Okay, lovely. Ooh. Nice. So, what are we going to look for? Okay, let's have a look. Just, I'm just being lazy, sorry. So, if we go to deep in, deep in .org, blah, 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 blah. Yep, let's have a look. I mean, the site is quite nice as well. You can see, I mean, about the opening the site is quite slow, but hey, it's from a long way away. From here, you can see everything you need to see about it. If you want to learn more about it, it's entirely up to you. Now, on the question of it being a Chinese distro, as we said before, remember it's Linux-based at the end of the day. I think it's still with Ubuntu, isn't it? Yeah. It all depends on your view and choice of the world and how much data you want people taking. Now, I know Quidditch did a video a while ago using Deepin, and he couldn't really find too much except for a couple of odd ones that he didn't know what they were for. So they might not be getting stuff from it. They might be. But hey, it's your choice. Hmm. Tell me what you think. I like it, actually. It's a really nice desktop. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.